Hello everyone, in this video let's understand the peak detector circuit. What is peak detector? Peak detector is a circuit which identifies the peak voltage of the input signal. The circuit will be consisting of a diode D and a capacitor. To this circuit, if we are going to apply an input signal, this input signal is varying like this. If you look at the input signal, we can identify this is the peak voltage or the maximum voltage over here. How this circuit is going to identify the peak voltage? So let us understand the behavior of the circuit. As we start applying input from here, as input increases, this diode becomes forward biased. As we know, the anode of the diode will be at higher potential compared to the cathode. This diode will be forward biased and this diode conducts. As input increases, diode anode voltage increases so that makes the current flow to the next circuit so this capacitor will charge to the peak value here the peak value let me consider it as one volt the voltage across the capacitor is one volt and as input decreases what happens here the diode cathode will be at one volt and anode voltage is reducing as the anode voltage reduces diode will go to reverse bias condition in reverse bias condition, diode will be act as a open circuit, there is no current flow through the diode. So at that time, capacitor will be holding its charge of 1 volt as it is. And as the voltage increases after some time, above 1 volt, whatever we get as input signal, at that time, diode becomes forward biased again. Again, capacitor will be getting the new voltage, it will be charged to the next peak value. So let me take this peak voltage as 1.5 volts. So the capacitor charge now will be 1.5 volts. As this process continues in a time varying signal. And once it reaches the maximum peak, let me take it as 5 volts. The capacitor value will be 5 volts now. So this is how this peak detector is going to detect the peaks. And finally we are going to get the maximum value as a peak voltage. But the disadvantage of this circuit is that this diode will be having a finite resistance. Because of that voltage drop in this diode, we are going to get the maximum peak up to here. We will be not getting the peak exactly at the peak. There will be reduction in the voltage we are going to get at the output. To reduce that, we need to use the precision diode. So for that, we need to use the precision rectifier circuit. Here is the precision rectifier circuit which will be having a buffer or voltage follower for that we will be having an diode at the output terminal and we are applying the same time varying signal as input and if we have a capacitor at the output this capacitor will be charged and the voltage across the load can be measured as the peak value here again the same signal which we are applying as an input we can identify the peak exactly and this is also an another approach of the peak detector we can use the diode and capacitor combination at the non-inverting terminal of the op amp at the input also and here is the improved version of that peak detector we are calling it as modified peak detector this extra circuit you can see here this will be an buffer or the voltage follower we have added extra to this circuit this extra addition of voltage follower improves the impedance of the circuit so let us understand how this circuit behaves. Again we are applying the same time varying signal as input to this. Let me call these two diodes as D1 and D2. As input increases here, as we know this is the first stage of the voltage follower. Whatever the voltage we will be having at the non-inverting terminal will be appeared at the output of the op amp. Now this terminal is having some positive voltage. This diode D2 conducts or we can say diode D2 is forward biased. This makes this capacitor charged to the first peak. Let me say it as 1 volt. Now 1 volt will be the input voltage we are applying to the second stage of the circuit. Here again this is a buffer or voltage follower. So the output of this circuit will be 1 volt. Now the voltage is reducing at the input side. Since it is a voltage follower, as it reduces, here also the input is reducing. And before that, we need to understand one more thing and this diode D1 is reverse biased at that stage so there is no current flowing through the diode and as we say there is no input current into the op amp because of this reason 
there is no current flow through the resistor also so we say this 1 volt will be appearing as the input of this op amp but now this voltage is reduced because of this reduction in the input signal and now the negative terminal at the higher potential this will be act as a non inverting amplifier here we know that the non inverting amplifier if you have a 1 volt input here this will produce a negative 1 volt output so now this diode d2 becomes reverse biased and diode d1 becomes forward biased this diode d1 makes the path of negative feedback to this op amp at this stage this capacitor will be holding its 1 volt there is no path to discharge since this diode is also reverse biased and again as the input reaches to the next peak this diode d2 becomes forward biased again this d1 becomes reverse biased this process continues and finally we can identify the peak of the input signal comfortably as 5 volts by this circuit this is how this modified peak detector is going to work thank you